We're lit up. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Again, even I'm shocked sometimes. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Mrs. H. Welcome to the Sunday shave weekends here. I hope it's a good one for you so far. Um, let's look at the rest of the day uh, left. Exciting shave for me this. Um, two people I want to thank for this shave. And the first one will be uh, Don Burke from North Wales, no, USA. <laughs> thank you Don. Um, and I'll show you what he sent me. Now, beautiful. Absolutely love this. Look at that. That's the, I don't know if you can tell on camera. This is like a rose gold colour and brass base plate. And the same here. Um, it's a 1930 or 30s uh, razor. Gillette, made in the USA, open comb. And it's a what they call the new bar handle long comb, three piece. Um, absolutely stunning. This base plate is the heaviest one I've ever lifted. It must be solid brass, that. Absolutely, look at the open comb on that. Beautiful. Thank you, Don. Um, and he also sent, it came in this case, I'll just show you. It came in this case. Beautiful. People are, are, are speechless sometimes. And these two blades, were they? I'm not using them today. That's, look at that, beautiful. Um, so that is absolutely stunning. So the blade, I may as well show you while it's off. It's a uh, Wilkinson, Gillette Wilkinson saw blade, brand new. So I thought I'd go with a bit of Gillette in there. Um, so while I put this together, it's only three piece, non-adjustable. Have a look at the other items Don sent me. Um, and I'll be using, uh, using these in uh, future shaves, obviously. I'm really excited about that Brute Balm. Absolutely, that's going to be with a that's um, and the ever yeah the uh, ever sharp uh, beautiful absolutely hydro ma hydro magic magic so um, and the razor line yeah the razor line that'll be interesting to <laughs> to uh, to use that and uh, thank you Don I did watch Geo Fat Boy's video how he used it so because I wasn't sure which way it should be used so it's the um, yeah, we'll come on. We'll use them in future videos. <laughs> but thanks very much. Beautiful. Look at that. It's uh, head heavy. This is hollow. But absolutely stunning. Right. That's the razor of the blade. Scott from Captain's Choice. Thank you, Scott. Send me this. Now, I was absolutely amazed with this. <laughs> Captain's Choice Shave Bowl. You know the blue one I always use? Look at that. What's special about this? It's made of copper. Weighs 10 ounces. There's two versions. There's a standard, which is five ounces in weight. And there's a heavier version, which this is a 10 ounces. Good weight, so it's solid. <laughs> and what amazed me, because I'm glad these ridges are in it, like the other bowl, uh, it's unbreakable. But it's good old copper. Why am I excited about that? We had copper mines here. In North Wales, um, so it's nice to see a product. Yeah, this isn't from Wales, I don't think, but the copper. But it's nice copper mines. Going back to, you know, handcrafted things. It's worth a visit to their website. I'll put the link in the description to see the man make this. It's made from a roll of copper, and you can see him put it in the fire, hammering it out on a like a what they call an anvil type thing just you know skill absolute skill and it's a hand-me-down that isn't it if you look after it they are lacquered i think to keep them protected and you can't cannot put them in the dishwasher why you'd want to do that i don't know but uh, we're going to give that a go good weight to it nice size as the other one is roughly four and a half inches in diameter and an inch and a quarter in depth worth taking a look now another thing Don sent me is this thing and that is a Samoog 
and it says on here um, Serda Pura which is pure sow so sow is pig pure boar brush boar brush and it's a 2030B so it's a 2030B very nice and I must say it's the hardest oh it's not so bad now but when it was dry it's one of the hardest backbones I've ever known <laughs> so it'd be good for a hard soap but I'm not using that I'm going to use um, this stuff which they also sent me the captain's choice venture I had some of this uh, and the balm so I'm going to use that today very creed aventus e creed aventus -y. so I'm just going to put some very soft cream this as we speak just going to put some in there don't need a lot go on then have a sniff there beautiful stuff very nice. I think this was released last year, this soap, this scent. So that's been soaking for 10 to 15 minutes in hot tap water and it's much softer, I must admit. It's uh, but it's still got a backbone to it. So let me just wet it again. So this bowl performs. Oh and it's still got the logo. You still got <laughs> copper. It might not mean a lot to people, but for here we had coal mines, copper mines, slate mines, um, and you can still go around the one of the copper mines. It's not open, but it's uh, oh my god, this is beautiful. This beautiful. So it works really well so far. Mind you, it is a cream, so it hasn't got a lot of work, but uh, it should be good with hearts. Well, you've seen me use it with cropes and everything on the other, um, or it's in the other room. The cobalt blue brush works. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. Okay, I'm just going to rinse the face. That is nice. So what's happening the weekend? Exciting stuff. Just a general, just a, oh look at that. Beautiful. Just a general uh, weekend is it? Well I hope it involves a shave. Wow that surprises me. Because <laughs> in honesty, I thought when I felt that knot, I'm not keen on it too hard. Um, but it's much softer now, obviously it's been soaked, um, but it still does retain enough backbone to look at that. This is stunning soap. I like that. Something, I'm not sure, I think it's, um, you can get them now, but it's something vintage about that. Really nice. Okay, and you can stand it up. Let's try this uh, razor. I'm gonna look after this. I really like this. Thank you so much. Open comb. Heat it up. Gorgeous scent. Here we go. Three piece non adjustable open comb. Oh, that's stunning. Doesn't feel aggressive at all. But uh, we'll reserve judgment till the second or third pass on that. Wow, very efficient.
you know, if that could talk, this, I've said this before, but if these things could talk, look at the craftsmanship of that, look at the quality of that now. You know, and they didn't have the technology we've got. Oh, just... I'm quite looking forward to trying that uh, razor line shave that thing. It feels so comfortable this good slickness. Very nice. Uh, That is stunning. So it's quite, the, the open combness um, doesn't make it feel, some people think it makes it aggressive. Uh, it doesn't, it feels, that's a, a mid-aggression for me, sort of my, yeah, top end of mile to mid. There's um, a slight overhang, but very comfortable, the blade works well, and it's very efficient with the open comb, allows the whiskers and the shaving cream to go through, and beautiful. Combined with a nice scent. Venture. Nice stuff. There we go. That's nice. Okay. I've used Venture before. Nice. So far, <laughs> it's working well, this. That's the back end of it. I've always got their name here as well. But I love this sound. That's a simple life I lead. Okay, we're going to try this. Wetter. Just added a bit more water to it. As you can see, works well. And if you make a good present, when it's you know solid, oh, hang on, oh, always there and here sometimes. Mm. It's a high-end cream, this. Um, very soft shaving cream. And it has a high-end scent, in my opinion. That's lovely. Um, Excuse me, will I just have a sip of water? I've had a bit of a f funny throat the last few days. Nothing major in pain, but um, just something there. So I've been gargling with some uh, thing called um, chlorexidine, and that's been doing the trick as an antibacterial mouthwash. Well, that wind picked up outside. Very light touch. Feels comfortable. This is where you gotta have your double chin, you see.
this is a lovely beautiful shave So this is a this is just these bowls are just a new addition I think to the the two copper bowls as I say the standard which is uh, got a rolled edge the standard but this has got a sort of curled edge to give it a bit more well different look but it works well that ridge because you can your fingers go into it but the difference is same size but the standard is five ounces in weight this is the heavy weight and it's 10 ounces and it's a good make a good thing to throw at somebody that you wouldn't damage it <laughs> nothing no violence no 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 okay just rinse off rub that lovely soap in good slickness yeah it's a good shave good start Mm. Sunday dinner is going to be a lamb stew. Well, lamb, diced lamb, potatoes, turnip, carrots. Um, well, I got two things: leeks or onion. Onion, maybe. I should have leeks really in Wales, shouldn't I? Uh, be some peas in there and some well I had a like a stock to make a gravy and then let it all simmer and oh beautiful and I always make enough for Monday and that stew will taste even better than what it'll taste today always has been so I hope it does turn colder so it um it's always nice to have a stew when it's cold, isn't it? Right, gains to the growth. Using the Gillette 1930s new handle. New, what was it? New bar handle long comb razor. So this would have been one of their first open combs, isn't it? One of, maybe. Very efficient razor. I'd like to shake the man who made this, shake his hand and say, it's still here. It's still here. And don't forget uh, the uh, giveaway if you haven't entered um, I'll put a link to the video at the end of the video as I usually do with videos just put what the giveaway video will be one of them uh, just click on it and uh, all you gotta be is a subscriber to the channel please give the video a 
like if you will it helps the videos on the channel um, and that's it subscribe to the channel write Paul H in the comment section of the giveaway video and uh, you're in I'll send the products anywhere in the world somebody did ask in the comments will you send them in the world yeah I'll send them all you gotta write is Paul H in the comment section of that video not this one and that's it maybe you uh, you'll be entered and as I said in the giveaway video it's not just for reaching 12,000 subscribers it's for being there, for being subscribed, for being watching twice a week, for commenting um, even when I don't reply or can't reply I should say um, it's only a time thing but you're still there, you still watch, you still comment and you're very kind and very understanding and it means a lot thanks so this is just a just a hopefully one of many to come um, giveaways Right, are you thinking now, oh, God, he hasn't said it yet? All right, all right. <laughs> you ready? Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Oh, go on, get your nostrils on that. Beautiful. This is another sort of what I class as a, a wedding scent. You know these, if you go to a wedding or something christening or a party, something like that. Just a nice, feels a nice soap and a nice scent. I know most of you, well a lot of you will have tried it. Eh? Yeah, so this I'd say it's a mid-aggression for me in this particular shave. Um, head heavy. This is going to be in one of my favourite vintage razors along with the Gillette Slim Adjustable. I mean, just the look of it, just stunning. And this solid brass base is absolutely... <sighs> Thank you, Don. I will use it, but I will look after it. Right then, let me just... The show ain't over until the fat man bleeds. Chins I'm talking about. Well, I have got a bit of a tummy. See why that is? Good food and beer. And spicy stuff. Lovely, I think. Just bear with me. Can you hear that wind outside? That's lovely, yep, yeah, that's beautiful. Rinse. Cold water. <laughs> beautiful. Wet alum. Alum today. Hello, alum. <laughs> Hello, alum. <laughs> Nobody ever laughs at only me. <laughs> I <laughs> just thinking that imagine it'd be cruel, wouldn't it? If you have a baby boy and you're a fanatic about shaving, you're called in not Alan, but Alum. <laughs> That's what they're in, is it? An Alum? Alum? I don't know. Good name though. That's beautiful, right. 
Another cold rinse, I think so. <laughs> Zero slickness now. Guys, we have some lovely ideas. Just brightens the day up. Get it. Oh, man. Wow, lovely. Might have told you this before. These towels you see me use are got about five, six, maybe seven. They're all my shaving towels, they're not used for anything else. And I don't put any softener when I wash them. Why am I telling you? I don't put any softener, just the soap. So it gives them a bit of a roughness after. And I think it's nice for when you're drying sh after shaving, it's just this. It might be just me, just ignore me. <laughs> God, I talk some. Um, right, no aftershave today. No aftershave. No aftershave. <laughs> the reason for that is number one, I did have Creed Aventus. Um, but that went walking into some lady's bag somewhere. And I haven't seen it since, so a new stock is needed, and I don't need any prompting from anybody out there. Um, WT, thank you, you know who you are. So I'm going to go straight for the balm, Venture Aftershave Balm. I may put something on later, we'll see. There you go, Aftershave wise. Because you may have seen in the thumbnail, I had that bottle. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Aftershave. It's not as strong as the EDT. So I might put a splash of that later. But at the moment, I want to smell this venture. Because it's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can't beat a shave, can you? Hey. Well, Freddy Krueger hasn't been visiting today. We did have an issue, where was it? Here somewhere. But uh, that's long gone, sealed. Beautiful, very close, very smooth, and very comfortable. 1930 ease, 30 or 30s. Beautiful razor. No date code on the bottom, you see. So, Thank you, Don. And thank you, Scott, from uh, Captain's Choice. That's a success, that heavyweight. Solid, unbreakable, might break your tiles, man, but <laughs> for your sink. <laughs> but if you look after that, it's from the earth and it's a, a hand me down or a good gift. Beautiful. And I'm not paid to say that, by the way. Um, that, I like that. I wasn't keen on the hard knot, I'll be honest. I thought it's going to be a bit rough, this. As soon as you soak it, softened it up enough, but there's still enough backbone to create a nice lather. And this would be good on hard soaps, in my opinion. And it's a lovely looking handle. Looks vintagey, doesn't it? Vintagey. But um, it's beautiful. Very nice. Um, yeah, that's it for his hands. So, don't forget at the end, if you want to enter the giveaway, as I say, anywhere in the world, all you've got to be subscribed to the channel. And write Paul H in the comments under that video. And I'll you'll be in. Excuse me. God, so beautiful. So have a great uh, Sunday. And thanks again for everything. Um, and uh, have some great shaves. Stay in good health. Stay positive. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care. Before you go... Don't forget Paul's Wet Heads on Facebook if you want to uh, join that. All the links to everything's in the description, everything I've used, take a look. Um, yeah, and join the Facebook group there. Mrs H is very active on that. She's, well, I don't like to say she's not the boss, but she's the boss on that. Oh, all right, and she is. I'm trying to end the video, yeah? Oh. See you Wednesday. Take care.